What's up guys? Welcome back to RimWorld Zombies where I just realized that I did something super, super dumb. <laughs> so, uh, for those of you that have noticed, there have been two regular, I want to call it van vanilla modded, but that doesn't even make sense. There have been two modded RimWorld episodes today, and in the second one I said that it would drive me crazy if the numbers for the modded plus zombie series didn't match up. Uh, because for some reason in my head, I had just concocted this like random zombie episode that would be uploaded. That doesn't actually make sense. It would have been equal. They would have both been at four episodes, but I recorded an extra one because for some reason in my head, I thought, hey, we're going to have five zombie episodes. So you know what? Now we are going to have five zombie episodes because there are five modded episodes and the number has to be same, same guys. It has to be same, same. Uh, the Muffalo are sleeping outside. We have Raiders incoming. Zareen is running for her life. And you are, you're all tribals. That is a large number of tribals. How are we going to do this? Are we going to stack everyone up inside the embrasure room and hope they don't kill the muffalo? Maybe. Maybe that's what we do. That's probably the best option. You're going to cut a pine tree. That doesn't seem helpful. We're going to do that. If everyone could run inside, that would be fantastic. Doomy's got a pistol. Hayden's got a survival rifle. I feel like maybe we leave Dragur outside as kind of like bait. And then we could run them inside, that way they don't go for the, uh, for the nanimals. That's one dead. Artie, you come, you come inside though. There we go. So they're gonna go for Dragur right now, and it's not gonna work out, and we're gonna pew pew, and everyone's gonna be okay. Uh, we're not gonna capture these people, we're not gonna, we're not gonna do anything with them. We're gonna strip them though. Actually, can you, wait, what are, what are you doing? Oh, you're cutting a pine tree. I'm sorry, I thought you were rescuing Redfields for some reason. Uh, we're going to strip them so we can have their warm, warm clothes. We're going to take their food and we're going to go from there. Now, I have been informed that apparently I made a mistake up here somewhere. I'm not growing... Something happened and I wasn't growing the correct thing. This right here. Coffee. Uh, I'm not supposed to be growing coffee here. I'm supposed to be growing cotton here if I'm remembering correctly. Which... I'm probably not. Um, <laughs> so we're going to see if we can get some cotton down real quick. Uh, and how did I get coffee? Did like Was I trying to grow cotton? I don't actually remember what I was doing at this point. Uh, Zeragum, do we have herbal medicine? We have regular medicine. Uh, as soon as the Zeragum's finished, I'm going to switch it over to aloe so we can start making those super, super lovely... Uh, I hope that was the raid. There isn't anyone else. So we can start making those super, super lovely uh, aloe med kits. I have been informed of the hierarchy of medicine, and apparently it is like, uh, aloe can be used raw, but it's not that great, and then it's the herb medicine that you get from just the raw Zeragum, and then after that, it's regular medicine, and then the herb med kit that you can make from aloe and cotton is past that, uh, and I think Glitter World's the best. Artie is consuming a fine meal on top of Brakeso, and now he's going to go build. A wooden bed. So I think once we get the beds up, we are going to maybe plan out sealing this section off uh, so we can start, or so we can make sure we have stuff growing because it is it is getting a little colder. It's, uh, I didn't know it was this cold. I thought it was a little bit warmer. And actually, now that I look at it, I think the, uh, the tilled soil works better because I think it goes up to like, for some reason in modded, the oats are growing at like 140%, everything else is lower than that, so I don't know if oats just grow faster because they feel like it, or because they're oats, or, or what's going on. Uh, but I feel like we will, we'll we, we will till all of this soil. Um, as for work priorities, I still need to get a name for Zareen, we're going to let you do some doctoring, as well as the firefighting of course. Uh, I've been told that everyone needs to flick switches because I forgot to set that up. Patienting, you can go for a two. And then definitely help out with the growing. Uh, you're not super great at construction, which sucks, but that's fine. Um, and you also can't haul or clean, which sucks, but I guess it's fine. <laughs> help out with mining. And then you can do art after that. Let's see, Dragur is going to be the crafter. You can help out with crafting afterwards. Um, and then I guess also maybe with cooking cooking before crafting just to make sure everything gets done all right so let's uh let's plan some stuff out we need a bigger stockpile I guess let's expand our stockpile first because we just we need more space to store stuff uh, so I think I'm just gonna wrap this around down to here 
So let's uh, see if we can get a nice little edge going on. I'm probably just going to do something like this, I guess, because it's it's what we got, and that looks not that great, but it's okay. Um, <laughs> the research bench is in an inconvenient spot right now, but again, it's okay. It's what we got. Um, we have a decent amount of metal. I know we have a lot of wood, but for this, it's not... It's not a very important structure right now, uh, as far as making sure it's secure. So we're going to go ahead and just use some scrap metal walls on it uh, to make sure we get it set up all nice and tidy. I feel like Gertrude shouldn't be sleeping in here, but there's a muffalo sleeping in there, so that makes perfect sense. So we're going to put uh, we're going to put a few animal sleeping spots up here, and then we're going to. Put a few more down here, and Gertrude is hopefully going to be okay. Are you getting trained? How's your training going, Gertrude? Excellent. You're almost done hauling. Great. Uh, so, a few things that I wanted to talk about real quick. Uh, the first of which is I need to get a name for Zurain. Uh, that's actually not the first, but that I noticed it first. Um, we finished stone cutting. That's great. I don't remember why we were doing it. For the crematorium. That's right. That is right. Uh, cremation because zombies um, the first is the additional lighting mod has been updated so the little path lights work and I actually want to try those uh, also the wall light has been offset a little bit I don't necessarily like the change to it personally because uh, before it kind of sat on the edge of the wall so it looked like it was a little like like it maybe it was in a little plug or something uh, but then it was offset to look like it was kind of halfway up the wall uh, just personally speaking I don't necessarily like it uh, I like the other way better but but these little path lights supposedly work now uh, now these if I'm remembering correctly from what I read uh, the way these work is if they get any sunlight at all you can see they have like a little solar panel like they're a little blue in the center if they get any sunlight at all during the day they're supposed to work for about half the night uh, he said that the they turn off around like 6 a.m. So we're gonna we're gonna go from there. We're gonna plant some, plant some. We're gonna build some, and go from there. Uh, once we get paths up, though, maybe we'll do a path down through here. And do we just connect this whole section up? I think we do. I think we wall like this whole section down here in together. I don't know if this is gonna be enough to keep it heated, though. Unfortunately. Uh, and we also don't have much in the way of power, so we should probably get the geothermal up. I really want to get cremation. I think we're going to be okay. We haven't seen any zombies yet. We haven't seen anyone infected yet, so I think we'll be fine. Uh, we are going to need some more graves, but we're going to switch over to, to the other one for right now. Things are still growing. Uh, it's getting a little cooler outside. But let's go ahead and uh, plan out this greenhouse section, because we are going to need it. Uh, now for here... I want the wall, like, right here. Yeah. So now they can get in to the kitchen from the greenhouse, or they can get in from outside. And then over here, we'll just run it uh, pretty much along our crops. I really want to replace all of this soil. <laughs> I'm not going to try to, like, round it off too much. I'm just going to kind of go with, with what we got. So we're going to do something like this. That's probably going to drive me nuts, actually. Well, you know what? What we'll do right here is we'll put a couple doors. Um, so we'll kind of, I guess, almost airlock this. So there'll be a door here and a door here where this tree is. Uh, we'll probably fill in this little piece of grass. Or not grass, but marsh, because we don't really need it. Uh, so that will seal up right there, and that will actually be a complete surround. We will need some support beams in here. I've not forgotten about that. Uh, where they need to go, I don't really feel like necessarily planning it out super specifically. So this is going to be this big. That's how big the geothermal is. Uh, so we'll put up a... All of this should be fine, but we'll do two away on the front and the back. And then we'll need to bring these over. So that's uh, one, two, three, four. I know this is like really limiting how much we can build or put in here and that's going to be in the way right there but we're going to go ahead and do it and then everything else should be okay famous last words should be okay uh, we're going to go ahead and put 
the supports in here because I don't want the roof to collapse as soon as it's done building because I've had that happen so that should be enough to keep this whole area secure and then we will do wood all along the outside um, and then we'll put our doors up over here we need to put maybe some regular old dirt in this section so we're gonna we're gonna fill in our marsh area right here these guys are still hanging on for dear dear life I'm so sorry guys I could just murder them but hey it's not the kind of guy I am um, so yeah the additional lighting mod has been updated and what else oh I was talking about the mod that adds in the random structures I was informed that is miscellaneous by haplo it adds in quite a few things um, I'm not sure how modular it is if you can kinda of pick and choose what you want um, but miscellaneous by haplo if you guys check out uh, last episode someone left a link to the page uh, on the Ludeon forums if you want to check it out for yourself let's see do I need to put soil there? Probably. So we're getting all this stuff built. Feels good. We got stone cutting done so we can actually build proper structures. Uh, I don't think we're going to have enough stone quick enough to get this sealed in in stone, but I would like it sealed in in stone. Uh, maybe we can. Maybe we can start working on it. Uh, this area over here, we can start making a, a bigger stockpile. Someone is broken. Artie is broken. I still need a name for Zorin. Zorin, rather. Oh, that's why Artie's broken, because he he did something amazing. <laughs> he did something amazing. Artie, wake up, buddy. Hayden, can you, can you get Artie out? There we go. Artie's back. Can you hold this? Oh, the dog's gonna come. <laughs> dog's like, I move. I moved things. I assisted. Uh, we'll put... We'll put another door right here. Actually, if I put a door right here, I can put the stone cutting bench right here. That should work out. Don't get naked though for me, Artie. I don't, I don't need that. We're getting a good harvest of food. Uh, so, hopefully everything will work out. We got a female and a female. We didn't get a male, but we're still going to be getting some milk. Are either of you pregnant? No, you have a bad back. I'm so sorry. These guys died. Stuff is happening. Uh, Artie, Artie's better. Artie, can you come get your pistol before you eat food, though? And you can come, you can come eat that one. There you go, great. Uh, that is cargo pods. That actually sounded really close. And this one right there. So we'll seal that back up. We'll put a little wooden door on it right here. We can deconstruct that wall and have that extra little bit of space right there. It's working out, guys. It's working out. I, I'm really enjoying both of our colonies right now. I uh, I like building out in the open. I don't necessarily like being in a cave the whole time. Um, and I guess I really haven't done that in a while, so I don't know why I'm talking about it like I have, but it's just, I don't, I'm really enjoying this, uh, this specific colony. Mad animal. Jump to bunny. Okay, that's fine. I wonder if I should check animals for the zombie virus. Trigger is gonna go tame a muffalo. He's gonna work on it. We're gonna we're gonna post you up out here. That way the the animal can come attack you and you can one shot it. Well, kind of one shot it. All right, cargo pods. A little bit of meat. Excellent. Chinchilla meat. Weird, but excellent. Stockpiles set up. That needs a wooden door. That wooden door is actually done. Uh, let's go ahead and get a. You know what, let's do that. We'll do the stone cutting bench right here, and then we'll have a little stockpile of stones along the back wall. So let's go with a, I want a bamboo one, because I wanted this in the other series, but I couldn't get it because we didn't have enough bamboo. So we're going to make a, I guess just a, a dumping stock. It doesn't really matter what it is. It's just the preset. Uh, we'll clear it, make it critical, and you will have chunks of stone. Excellent. I guess I'll, I'll rename this stone uh, and then also we can put if we if we feel so inclined we can put some uh, manufactured I forget where it's under or what it's under what is it under items that would be weird no it should be under manufactured right stone blocks yeah if we want we can put stone blocks there actually I don't I don't know yeah, it'll it'll help out with the storage situation. 
um, just because we can't really, we don't have much storage. Eventually we'll probably put this down into the mountain, I suppose. Uh, trade beacon wouldn't hurt, now that we're at a comms console, so we could figure out a room for that. I guess this we could use as a comms console room. Uh, in the f Oh no, we're going to use that as a, a medic place, and we have aloe growing. Uh, so we'll turn this into a little clinic. Now that we have extra beds for everyone, we do. So we'll go ahead and deconstruct these beds. Actually, I guess this one... I'll save this one. We'll deconstruct it. Uh, because it's normal quality. The other one was poor quality. Uh, and then we can place it back in here. Alright, so that's a steel wall, so I'm going to want to continue this steel wall. Alright, and we still <laughs> we still need a name for Zorin. I think for right now, this is going to be our little clinic area. And maybe we'll put a door right here to go out into the aloe section. Artie has the plague. Oh, that sucks. Artie. But thankfully, we have medicine. We have regular medicine, and we have herbal medicine, so he should be hopefully okay. Now that I think about it, I'm not going to use that blue bed. We're going to build a different color bed. All right, so I'm going to actually pause the recording right now and finally grab a name for Zorin, so I will see you guys in just a moment. Alrighty, welcome to the colony Foxwolf. Zorin Foxwolf Howl. It has a nice ring to it, I think. Alright, so we're going to get stones moved over here. Uh, stone cutting. Now, the bamboo table. Let's see. I did get the... We do have the mods. Oh, that's another thing I'm, I meant to mention. Uh, I was actually using the wrong sort of... The way I do my descriptions, I have a copy-paste document set up. That way I just quickly copy-paste all the information. Uh, I didn't update the zombie version of the mod list properly. So, now, starting in this episode, it actually has exactly what I'm using. Uh, it was missing the prosthetics, it was missing uh, the additional lighting mod, and uh, I think a few of the itchy flea mods. So, check that out. I am using more mods than what was listed before. Um, but you can see we have the, the stone cutting mod active, so we can actually make these stone blocks, uh, which I love, by the way. If you've never seen this, it's, it's a great little mod. Um, so, this is the regular stone block order. So we have all the stones listed and they all count as one. So say I do 50 sandstone and then do 50 granite. Uh, if I set it to do until you have 50, it won't do 50 sandstone and then 50 granite. It counts it as 50 stone blocks. Uh, but, but with this mod, if I actually pick 50 sandstone blocks and then 50 granite blocks, they count as individual orders uh, and not all as one, so it actually lets you kind of customize exactly how many blocks of each type you want if that is your thing. So we have marble and limestone kind of all over the place. There's some slate back here as well, but for the most part we have marble and limestone. Um, I guess for this I wouldn't mind doing limestone. So let's see if we can get some limestone blocks up to uh, do until you have maybe like 250. And we'll go from there. So we finally have some crafting on the way. Uh, we can get some things hold. And hold. And I think that's everything, pretty much. Uh, we really need to cut down these trees. So let's let's go ahead and do the floors. We have a lot of steel. Um, let's go ahead and do concrete for this section right here. I think it needs to go back to there. I know I did get them set to get... Uh, chop down but we'll go ahead and concrete this section off and then just for I guess looks we'll do uh, a little bit of paved tile because it's not going to take that much extra um, extra steel alright so lots of stuff getting done we're still getting food coming in it is actually getting pretty cold uh, we do have heaters set up for everyone hopefully everyone's nice and comfy we could do with some lights and we could also get the path light as well uh, floors. How do we want to do this? Maybe just a regular old paved tile for the floors for right now. I think that would probably look pretty nice, so we'll get that going. Um, I do like putting these sort of little, like, entry tiles on the floor. I usually do them in something else, but... So we'll do paved tile from here to here, and then all the way over to here. I guess around this way as well. Someone needs treatment. Uh, it's probably Artie. Sorry you're sick, buddy. Uh, then we'll go over here. We need to expand the clinic as well. Um, should probably do that. I don't know. I don't think he'll heal better just because he's in a clinic room. I guess I could... We could get one of these. Oh, we can actually make one. Okay, that's nice, actually. Um, 
As for power, we're doing really well over here. Uh, probably going to concrete this area off as well. Let's go and get some steel walls. It's been so long since I built just a straight up vanilla steel wall, I think. So we'll do something like this. Honestly, I would like it better if the door was right here. So let's, uh, we'll cancel these guys. Deconstruct that. We'll put a steel wall there and we'll put the, the door right here. And we'll do just a nice little bamboo door. Actually, a bamboo auto door in case they're carrying anyone. Uh, the power conduits, we are going to need to run up through here. That's, that's the other thing I'm missing. The, uh, the hidden power conduits so I can, like, drag power through here without it being everywhere um, but I'll just I'll run it I'll run it straight up and we'll put it we'll leave it right there for right now steel wall and then we'll deconstruct these guys right here so now we have quick access to the garden and there's a lot of stuff getting built uh, so that's why it's taking a little bit longer so I'll put this up right here and then do a nice little paved tile that goes around this and what is this? This is all metal tile. We have 680. I'm curious how much it would be to get sterile. It would be a lot of our silver, but I think I think I'm okay with that. Uh, I don't I don't necessarily mind not having silver this early in the game. Uh, we'll eventually get it. We have everything we really need, to be honest with you. Uh, we do need to start researching after we get the geothermal. We'll probably go ahead and start researching um, machining. Because I believe we need to build the turrets at the machining table, which obviously requires that research. Uh, so construction, we have one person really working on it. There's the cold snap, which sucks. Uh, and then we have Dragur, who is also going to help. You know what, Fox Wolf, you're gonna you're gonna help out with construction as well for right now. I know you're not super great, actually. Doomy's better at construction than you. So, or he likes it better. So we're gonna let Doomy do it, and then you can help out with all the growing. And then once he finishes, he can go help out with the growing as well. And there go all of our plants. Thankfully, we do have uh, some food set up. And I was hoping to have blocks and such. We actually do have limestone coming up. Let's go ahead and start working with the limestone. I know we're not gonna have enough to completely seal this in, which makes me sad. But I think this is about as many blocks as we have, if that. So we're about halfway there. Um, you know what, for right now, Fox, I want you to help with construction too. I really want to get all this stuff built. All our food's going away, which I knew it was going to be coming soon, but just that cold snap kind of really made me, I guess, buckle down. This embrasure section I would like to move to about right here, I think. So we'll probably do that soon. And then we still have to clear out all these trees. We also have this section over here. Which I still haven't decided if I want to seal off or, or what I want to do, really. I don't necessarily want to seal it off because, like, look at all these boar down here. We can go hunting. Um, let's see. Fox Wolf needs a weapon. Do we have a weapon for you? Shooting of three? We don't really have. I mean, I could give you this Pila. Various? It's a Pila. There we go. Awful. Um... Yeah, that kind of sucks. This one's poor quality. That's probably a little bit better. You can have the Pila. Uh, we need a few more graves set up as well. So we'll get that going. A mad animal. It's a boar. Uh, we'll have we'll have Jagger kind of hang out over here with maybe Doomy as backup. Put him, put him like that. All right, we have a little bit of bamboo. Not a lot of bamboo. That was doomy. That was a great shot. <laughs> you like insta go for the liver shot. Um, now I did get a suggestion to let doomy hunt because he does have the the pistol and it's close range, um, which is probably a pretty solid idea for right now until we can get uh, like a shotgun or something like that. I would love to have a shotgun right now. That would be great. Uh, this is going to take a while to get done. Structure. I'm going to do... I don't have enough granite blocks. Artie's grumpy. Why are you grumpy, Artie? 
Feeling terrible, joy deprived. Did I? We have horseshoes, but I guess you don't want to play horseshoes right now. Uh, what else can we give you guys? I guess I could build some chess tables in you guys' rooms. Um, steel chess table. We'll go with a. I guess a wooden chess table. We'll, we'll do a steel chess table in the room, and then maybe some wooden chairs with it. So we'll give a. Uh, give each of you guys a chess table. Do they actually play chess together? I don't know if I've ever seen two people sitting at a chess table at the same time. I've always seen one. I don't think they can, can they? Like, would it not count as them interacting with something so someone else couldn't come and play chess? They could come and, like, sit down with them? I'm actually not sure. Um, I'm going to build these like this. And we can kind of go from there, I guess. This bed is inconvenient. I need to push it over to the left wall. Actually, I'll push it over here, and we'll put the chess table, I guess, right here. So this one we will uninstall and move it over for Doomy. They're actually sleeping over here. That's kind of nice. We are running low on food. We're probably going to have to go hunt soon, uh, which means I'm probably going to let Doomy go hunt with his pistol because he did such a great job with that last shot. Something happened. Something happened and I don't have combat realism active right now. I need to fix that, guys. Why is my combat realism not active? Or is it? He still has the range, but he doesn't have the reload option. Is that is that the combat realism range for a pistol? Range of 10? I think it is. How much damage do you... What, what's your accuracy in such? Uh, it's pretty low. So this... We still... We should still have combat realism active, but I don't have the reload option. Something happened. Something happened. I'll have a look at the, uh, the mods between this episode and the last episode. Gertrude actually carried that boar all the way over here. Artie is now broken and dazed. Uh, Drigger is set up to hunt. We have more buffalo over here, but I think for right now we're going to hunt some boar. That's a lot of boar. We're going to hunt these boar over here. We're going to see how that goes. Chest table is getting moved. This guy needs to get installed right there. Our chest table is getting built, rather. Uh, furniture... I guess a steel chair for you guys to sit in. It'll look a little bit nicer. Hopefully. Uh, how is the hunting going, though? I feel like we got one. Maybe we didn't. Artie is now dazed again. Trigger is going... Or Doomy, I'm sorry. He did have to reload. I just can't control his reload. So it's just something graphical that's going on. I'll have to have a look. The only thing I've done since this episode and the last episode is update the additional lighting mod. He killed that one on accident. That is insane. Alright, so food situation, we should be fine. We have a lot of meat coming in. Uh, we have the alpha beavers, we have muffalo meats, we have boar meat that's going to be happening soon. We still have a little bit of beans and some rice and just random vegetables right now. So I think we should be able to get this completely sealed in uh, for, for growing purposes. Halfway done with geothermal research. So that'll help out. We can get maybe like three sun lamps in here and grow uh, in this whole section up here. And then we'll also get some lights out and about for people. Uh, and we still have the path lights that we need to check out. And this section over here isn't really going to work for us at the moment, is it? Nope, it's not. Nope, it's not. Well, it's winter. Oh, it's still it's still a cold snap. Wow. Okay, I was like, it's still really, it's really cold for September. Uh, but it's the, the cold snap that's happening. We're getting some food coming in, so that feels good. Uh, we got the houses kind of sorted, situated. Fox Wolf made it into the colony. Welcome, Fox Wolf. Uh, we're working on sealing this section off so we can get better power over in this side. Uh, unfortunately, we're going to need food for our animals over here. Do we, do we sun lamp them? 
Maybe we do like a little cave inside for hay uh, on this power grid over here. Or actually, we can put we can put a few solar panels out here, uh, and then have a little hay section in here. I think that's probably the best bet. Uh, so we'll probably work on that next episode as well as getting this completely built. Uh, we still need quite a few blocks. We're actually out of blocks right now, so hopefully that will happen soon. Hopefully it will happen soon. Let's see, I'm gonna make your crafting a one. So you just get on those blocks. Alright. Hardy's done stripping, hopefully. And can now go get his clothes. <laughs> He's probably freezing. He's standing in the doorway, naked. Building a chair. Alright. Alright guys, that's going to wrap this one up. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, as always. Thanks for watching, and have a good one.